can also learn a lot from stable isotopes. With Amanda, maybe. Yeah, oh, is that uh, awesome? The Chonax Scaper. Sweet find. Yeah, let's Good eye, guys. Look at that. Yeah. That's new. Chonax likely picked us. We observed this um, on seamounts as well. John Crusoe, who is an expert in this group, has identified this as Chonax pictus. Similar, anyways. There's two species that are simil similar, Stigmaeus and pictus. Very cool. Let, let me say something because this actually caused quite a stir uh, before. I mean, the fish that people kind of really enjoy looking at. Focus. And it's a wonderful picture. Beautiful shot. Beautiful Very shot. Nice Actually, yeah, this is a pretty great Thank shot. You can hold it. So you can see the little black mark on in between the eyes. That's actually um, esca or or bait. It's it's used as bait, so it can so kind of put that out and be used to attract fish. And if you notice that the mouth is oriented upwards, that's also for more easily accessible, like more easily grabbing fish um, after they attract with the with the esca. And you can also see um, some of the lateral line canals on the head. Again, used for is sensing movement. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, right in between. <laughs> Here it comes. Coming. It's gonna get you. Did you get a on it? Excuse me, Graciela. Coming for you. Did you get a size on it? No, not yet. We will. First time I've seen a fish walk. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's like reaching out with its right fin. Wow, it's so cool. It is spectacular. You guys, I have seen this before. I mean, has it been this clear and this, you know, nice shot, right? Looking into the camera and everything else. I'm not sure like this. I mean, we have seen them walk, but they usually walk a little bit and get up and swim. Looks like he, he or she may. There it goes. Oh. <laughs> The, the pectorals are almost like paddles. Try to get inside. 